Hi everybody! In this video, I'm going to talk about how we put together this really cute creative explosion gift box. We were super excited when this package came in the mail from Amazon. This is something that my daughter had ordered to celebrate her boyfriend's birthday. Um, so we're going to first kind of go through the different components that came with the kit. Um, we're going to get everything out of the package. We'll kind of walk through in this video uh, what all comes in the gift explosion kit here. And then we'll actually show you her project that she put together for her boyfriend. And I'll kind of, as we go through the video, show you which parts we used and what we didn't use. Comes with a lot of stuff. First of all, these stickers, you can see hearts and circles and there's uh, like zigzag lines and you can use these to decorate the outside of the box or you'll see as we open the box, there's lots of things inside that you can use them for. And then here are many additional stickers. This side uh, with the golds and blacks is kind of more our story. It would be great um, for families. This one is more the love, so it's a lot of hearts and polka dots. Um, so either kind of a love theme or the left being an anniversary, a wedding, or a family theme. Just a lot of really great stickers. Now, we did not use these. Um, it just didn't work with what she was wanting to do for her project. So we're just tucking those in a drawer where we keep a lot of stickers, and I'm confident we'll use those for other projects. Um, so let's take a look at what was in the box. So you open it up, and there's a lot of packages of stuff, and it's kind of fun the first time you open it up. Um, and so you'll see, we'll go through this uh, packet here in just a few minutes with the heart. And then there's a lot of other insert pieces there. Um, this is the center box. This is really fun. This is what goes deep in the inside of your box. So when you open, you could put a note or maybe a trinket or something like that into this box. This is just a pouch of some materials. We'll take a look at what all of those are. Uh, that pouch contained like this kind of double sided tape. Um, we just used a tape runner. It's a lot faster and easier to do it that way. Um, this has also some uh, 3D, three-dimensional kind of sunflowers. And then this is some ribbon. It says, happy every day. And um, you could use this for a lot of different things, but one is you could crisscross it to kind of tie up the box when you're all done. Um, I feel kind of bad I'm just going to show this kit, and we didn't use all of the things. The kit's pretty cool in itself, and I think they send a lot of stuff so you can do different ideas with it. And we didn't necessarily, you know, use all of those. So um, we'll put that box in and kind of look at the other pieces. This package right here, um, we're going to open two in a minute. So let's take a look at what happens when you open the box. This is the really cool part because what you see are there's so many flaps and so many places that you can write about memories or put pictures. So pretty much on all four sides, you'll see that there are flaps and you can put pictures on both sides of each flap or write notes on both sides of each flap. Um, and then the, the middle you know, goes right inside of that. And then there's even a place to write a note under that box. Uh, so when that box comes out, you can even see on top of that. All right, let's take a look at some of the pouches. This was that first thing that we had pulled out. It had the heart. Um, and this has a lot of really fun components. So the heart, you could use a lot of different ways. You can write notes in there if you just want to use it as a letter. Or you could cut pictures the shape of each of those hearts and just fill that with more pictures. We ended up writing, you'll see, well, you'll end up see what we ended up doing here uh, when we show you our finished project. Now, these are other pieces and parts where you can put pictures. Like, I love these accordion fold, uh, folds. I'm a huge scrapbooker, and so I've done a lot of these kind of pieces before. Um, those are really fun to work with. I also love this piece. I've done a ton of these even in scrapbooks uh, where you put them on the page and then they can open up and inside there you can either have note, uh, like a handwritten note, or you can put pictures. Um, the next one is a pull. So you can kind of pull it down and see different pictures, you know, that you reveal as you pull it to see what those pictures are. That was kind of a hard one. We couldn't figure out how that would actually operate in the box without like moving your fingers through them. The pull wasn't working too well for us. This was a really cute little insert that you could do. The hearts were super cute. Um, and then we had another, this was just really clever with the heart. It's really kind of a card. You could write a nice little card on the inside or leave a sentiment of some kind. 
Um, and then this is just another pull open where you could kind of have a, a picture reveal something that maybe either is a little more private um, or that you just want it to be really important and so they have to work a little harder to get to it to see. Now all of these things can then be double-sided using double-sided tape or a tape runner. You can attach these to those flaps. That's what's super cool is you can have a flap there and actually have a three-dimensional item on the front of each one of those squares um, to add just more dimension to your box. And then these are these black cards. I don't know if you noticed as we were looking at each of those flaps on each side, it's actually a pocket. So you can take these cards and they can fit inside the pocket. So you can either put a picture on both sides of it or you can write a note on it and then stick it into uh, the pocket. Um, and you'll see how we use those. When I have scrapbook on things like this, I've done pictures. Um, but it doesn't have to be pictures. It could be ticket stubs could go on there. Um, any, anything that's kind of more of a memorabilia could go on there. So then we figured out how many flaps there were so that we could do our photo order. Um, and then once we got those photos back, we started cutting those using a paper trimmer. I love paper trimmers because they make really straight lines on your picture. So I'll link one of those below. You can certainly use scissors. I just like them because it makes all of your lines super straight. And we just cut our photos using double-sided tape. We tape those in to each of the flaps on the front and the back. And then we did a little bit of decorating. We did not end up using any of our stickers. Uh, we also did not use all of the extra pieces and accordion files. Okay, so we're ready to show our explosion box we just wrapped up. She decided to use uh, metallic pins to do some writing on the outside of the box. Some stickers came with the kit. We decided it didn't really fit what we were doing, so she just decided to write a note. So she's got on one side, happy, and then 19th birthday, Brady. And then she just drew a little heart on the top. So we thought that was kind of a simple but fun way to do a little bit of decorating on the outside. So it's really fun. Watch what happens when she opens the lid. It just opens up and it's so cute. Uh, the first thing I guess we can look at is this box in the middle. Um, and you've got this heart that's super cute. You could have cut pictures, you know, the size and shape of the, the heart and the shapes kind of inside. She decided to do a note, and I thought that was really cute um, that she wrote him a note just kind of about their relationship over the past year. And then I think the inside pages turned out really cute as well. Um, you can see there's four sides of this thing that can hold pictures. Um, and once you get the pictures on there, there's just so much color and kind of energy to the explosion box. So we thought that was really neat. And it's really fun because the pictures stack. And so you can see how one behind the other, she did front and back um, and have pictures on each side of that. So really in this one box, you can get a lot of different pictures. Um, and, and what's really cool too, is that for each of these sections of pictures, it's actually like an envelope. And so you can actually fit another paper in each one. And you could put a, you could put a picture. She decided to do notes. And so each envelope has a note about that picture. So if it's prom, kind of talks about where they went for prom. If it was asking uh, to a dance, kind of talked about how the, the dance, um, the dance invitation kind of happened. So it was really kind of fun. Now we looked at the all the stickers that were given for these corners um, and we decided maybe it would have been good for a wedding or anniversary. It didn't really fit for what we were doing. And so she decided just to do kind of some metallic polka dots. Metallic marker works really good on this black because the colors really pop. Um, so if you have any kind of metallic markers, that works great. Um, if you don't want to use the stickers, you might just want to do that. And then you can kind of have a final message right down here um, in the middle. So we did not end up using all of these really cute accordions. Um, I love these and my preference would have been that we did include them. Um, but she just didn't really want to. She felt like she liked the simplicity of the box. Um, just with the flaps and she also felt like when she was kind of tucking them in it was making it really thick and she thought it would be hard to open and look at those things 
you know, when they were taped in, unless you just tuck them in and you could pull them out. So I really liked them. I think that's, I'm a scrapbooker at heart. And so I could just see how cute and how those function. Uh, but this was her box and she uh, was really excited. She's the one that picked it out and she did all the work. Um, and so I certainly, you know, wasn't going to push that idea of using those things. So these are all components that came with it. Um, but of course you notice when you look at our box, those weren't incorporated, all of these extra pieces. We just pretty much put all of the photos on the flaps and then of course used all of the envelope openings uh, to put her special notes and things like that. So I just wanted to call that out. You may have noticed, you saw us you know, show them to you at the beginning uh, and then you didn't actually see them in play and that was because she had made a decision not to use those items. So we think the explosion box turned out super cute. Again, I'm going to link below. We got this on Amazon and I'll link to that below. Um, and then I'll probably go ahead and put some links to the other one. I'll make it really clear which one this one is, but I'll probably, they have a, they had a lot to choose from. So I'll probably do several links in case you're wanting to explore some of the explosion boxes for different occasions and gifts. Thanks so much everybody for watching. Bye-bye.